What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Tyler Creates YouTube channel. My name is Tyler, hope y'all are having a blessed day. In today's video, we're going to be doing a cleanup, kind of reviving, bringing back to life uh, an electric chainsaw that I got from the $300 lot of stuff. You can go watch that over on the YouTube channel in the below, in the, click, what? what? Go to the channel and <laughs> via the card below uh, and you can see all kinds of different videos. Uh, but. Uh, I figured I'd give it a freshening up. I used it yesterday. It was in a lot worse condition. Um, I just briefly used it because I wanted to see if it worked or not. I uh, used it on some seasoned oak, and it actually did pretty good. It's 2.5 horsepower, uh, Craftsman plug-in electric. It's not wireless, uh, and it cut pretty darn good. It's got a 14-inch bar. It is my first chainsaw. I know that it's not gas-powered, but it works pretty good. And for learning, it's actually probably a lot safer uh, than a big old gas one because that's what I want to buy. That's what I could buy off Facebook Marketplace is a huge uh, gas one, but this is a good place to start out. Um, and it's a little, it's quieter, and I'm not a super big fan of loud noise, but uh, I'll see if I can find some pictures of it. When I was doing the uh, like unboxing video of the $300 lot, uh, it was disgusting. The front piece was completely clogged. Like the front breather for the motor was completely like packed in so, and uh, this morning I just saw it's leaking all the disgusting borrow that I put in there, used oil. Uh, so I have to fix that, but we're just going to tear it apart, clean it up, and then I'll use it and show you guys what I use it on. I use it on a huge piece of wood yesterday, and the bar is the Craftsman bar from, I'm assuming it's a 1990s, 80s electric chainsaw, I don't really know when. Um, the bar is a piece of junk. The bar bends pretty easy, but I don't really care, it's electric, so uh, we're going to jump right into it. Real quick, before I put you guys on the tripod, I figured I'd show you the saw. Obviously, if you haven't watched the video, there's much more than this, like this plus like a whole nother chunk of this. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Um, uh, Go check that out on the channel. $300 lot of random stuff I bought off Marketplace. But here's a saw, as you can see, it's uh, definitely drained all the bar oil out. It's some cheapo saw, I don't know much about it, but uh, it's kind of loud, it needs a cleaning. Uh, you're supposed to look at these sweet instructions. I don't know. This is the bar oil thingy. It this button's real sticky. It's pretty. It's pretty gross too. Not gonna lie. It's, it's pretty bad. Um, but there's the. Is it 2.5 horsepower, 14 inch bar? Um, I'm assuming it used to say Craftsman right here, but it doesn't say it anymore. So uh, we're gonna jump right into it and get to it. Yeah, surprisingly enough, this thing worked pretty good. Here in a little bit, I'll show you guys the wood I cut, but um, yeah, we're gonna jump right into it and start taking it apart. So I blow my back out when I go to move it around. Okay, is that a little bit better? Can y'all see me? It's really bright, so if I'm like not looking at the camera, there's a reason. <laughs> it is very bright. Okay. Um. I don't know how else to film, guys. I really would like to film standing up because I genuinely hate sitting down. But uh, I really can't do anything about it. So for right now, this is what we're doing. Um, the whole issue with me standing up is maybe I need to get a wider angle lens or something. I can't film my face. I'm a tall guy, so when I stand, I hope this camera is not focusing back here. Bar oil I use was just junk oil. Automotive, junk automotive oil. Yeah, it leaked all of it out. Chill, quit leaking. I'm gonna have to put this thing on something or I don't know what. Um, I can tell you right now, we're gonna need more than just one of those. I would use a screw gun, but I mean, I guess I could, I have a screw gun. I don't really feel like using one. I just realized you guys can't see what I'm doing. This is the dilemma with filming. It's like, you guys can't see that I'm taking out screws, but then again, do you wanna see me take out screws? Like, lots of YouTube videos. Uh, you don't, really don't need to show you taking out screws. I'm hoping this thing is simple to, Take apart. Oh, okay, it is. I don't know what's gonna be in here. You guys obviously can see. I 
Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, that's very dirty. That's a lot more dirty than I was expecting it to be. Look at the like little nug nugget thingy sitting in there. That's so gross, dude. They're like little grease nodules. Let's go ahead and oh, this thing is truly disgusting. I'm uh, this thing is pretty gross, dude. I do love me chainsaws. That's for sure, though. They're dangerous, but boy, they are cool machines. Um, you don't want your bar moving around on you. I would assume this slides off. Everything here is super disgusting and oily. Now what I don't know is how do I get this other piece off? Oh my good night, that is dirty. And it's leaking from somewhere, I don't know where. I don't even know where the oiling thing is. Can't tell if it's focused on it or not. That is disgusting. Oh my goodness. Oh, that fell out. Where did this come from? What is this? Where did this just come from? Stop, stop, stop. This is so gross. Oh, yeah, oh, 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 it is really dirty. Wow, I'm glad I took this thing apart and didn't just continue to use it. Because the plastics are in great shape. It's not um, cracked anywhere that I've seen. Not a super big deal. I wonder how this oils. It must oil out that little orifice dude right there. Got to oil out that little guy. That's what it looks like. Electric motor, drive gear. Yeah, it definitely sounds like a bearing might need to be some, have some grease packed in it or something. The tool is slightly bent, so it does not fit great. Overdid it a little bit, that's probably no good. Will this gear now come off? Oh, this thing is oily. The little drive gear. Okay, hopefully that's a little bit better now you guys can see what I'm doing here. Um, I do, what, what I want to do is take the, uh, well I guess I, will this bottle come out of here without breaking? It sure will. This thing is gross. Okay, there's another screw right there. Oh, this thing is disgusting. I'm hoping to be able to, you know, clean all this and make it not disgusting. I'm sure it'll get gross pretty quick because it's a chainsaw. And chainsaws seem to tend to be pretty nasty. I mean, I, I don't know. We, all depends on if you take care of your chainsaw or not. I gotta take this off. I can already tell you this is probably gonna have to come off. Is it half inch? It sure is. It wasn't on there too tight, which is fantastic. Set this down here. Stuff like this is pretty simple, guys. Um, a lot of people ask me, I've had people ask me, where do I learn how to do this stuff? I just jump right in and do it. Because at the end of the day, 
what's the worst that can happen? You forget how to put it back together and you have to wing it. Might break something, might not. Just remember what you're doing, take it slow, and you'll be good to go. Trust me. Not as bad as some people make it out to be. Some people are like, don't ever take anything apart, ever. Just take it to a professional. Or you can do it yourself. Is there a screw back there in that in the goo? Am I missing a goo screw? Or does this thing just not get? It? Is there a goo screw back there? No. Ooh my goodness. That is dirty, dirty, dirty. So how do you get this thing off here, eh? Come on now. Come on now. How does this thing come off here now? Is there a screw on the back side I'm missing? There almost always seems to be one that's holding it. Oh, no, it just came right out. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's why you take this stuff apart. Dramatically reduced cooling on this electric motor. Like, dramatically reduced. Holy smokes. I blew this thing off with the air hose, too. I stuck the air hose, like, to the best of my ability, like, right down in here. Didn't do a single thing. It did virtually nothing. Got to be careful with it now. You don't want to break it. I'm about to break it, boy. Come on now. I'm just getting the flathead down in there and prying. Let me stab myself in the finger real quick. Really give this thing the beans. My beans ain't enough. Beans better be enough now. I just sent everything flying. Oh my goodness. Did I break anything? Oh, I sent stuff absolutely flying. I lost a socket. Socket down. Oh, my hands are so dirty. Wait. Okay. Oh my goodness. Here's the little gear. Calamity. Oh no. Where did my socket go? There we go. Come on off there. Thank you. I need to take these off, which means I need to go get a special... The crazy thing is it came flying off the socket head, which sucks. What the heck did I just take off? Was that pointless? No. Okay. A little cap dealio. A little bearing that goes like in there, like that. How is this housing not come off yet? Is there screws down in there? There is. Okay, that one, okay, there we go. So there's the magnet that's weighted and the those uh, brushes I took out right here on this piece. Obviously this needs to get taken off and cleaned. I can do it with a real hammer. It didn't feel like it, but I do wish I could take this switch apart. I'll have to spray some cleaner up inside that. Okay, well, I'm gonna go blow this thing off with some air, and uh, hopefully we can get this thing cleaned up because it's really gross right now. I'm gonna go ahead and sacrifice this paper towel now and go ahead and wipe this grease up that's all around that. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I got the part clean with some hot water. I originally wasn't going to use any water because I thought, well, maybe it'll hurt it, but eh, it's fine. I'll blow, I blew it out with air. As you can see, it is super clean. These did have pieces of tape around them, but the tape was not doing anything. It was like partially not there and delaminated, so cleaned it really well, did pretty good. So I'm gonna set this aside. I'm basically gonna repeat that process with everything on this table, uh, minus this thing. I'm not gonna wash this uh, reluctor, I believe is what it's called, a, or rotor armature. I'm gonna try to wipe most of it up uh, to keep it from going into the ground. It is oil, so it'll it'll deteriorate pretty darn quick. Oil doesn't last too long in the soil, um, but. You see we got the armature here. 
I'm gonna sand this so it makes better contact, gives it more power, gives it better contact. These are always really hard to start out when they have ne basically never been done. Plus my hands are also quite, uh, you know, greasy. Just go in one direction to start. That actually arguably gives it more torque and more power because there's more electricity that's able to flow through them. So, and you want to do this very evenly. You do not want to sand one spot at a time. You want to go around it very even. So that's good enough for me. Uh, this shaft here, a little rusty. I'm gonna clean that up a little bit. Good to go there. I'm gonna go blow this off and continue on. Just wanted to show you guys that. So nice and clean. It's like musk in color. <laughs> Alrighty everyone, I ended up finding out why this thing was leaking. Right along here, the plastic had cracked and separated and was allowing oil to leak out. So I took some, uh, all things, some window sealant or window bonding agent, um, like silicone stuff, uh, and put it on there. Uh, it looks like it's working pretty good. I have used that stuff before for other things and it works really, really well. So we'll let this cure and dry and uh, it's good to go. Alrighty everyone, if there's a little wind, pardon me, we're gonna begin reassembly here. Uh, got everything good to go and dry, so uh, there's nothing to it but to get right to it. So I found the socket as well. Uh, it was in the bucket at the bottom somewhere, so. Went ahead and cleaned everything else. I gave this a little bit of a hand polish, just barely, barely worked on it. Came out pretty good, so um, as you can see, super de duper de duper clean. Super happy with the way it came out. Looks great this guy here so as you can see this is what it would look like without you know uh, I also believe that the uh, this piece here goes right here uh, as a bridge so really not into rain right now I'm like right in the middle of something I do need to hurry because I think it is gonna start raining here soon so I'd prefer not to get soaking wet doing this, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, this goes like this. Now, before this goes on, oh, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I thought, what the heck? Uh, I don't like that. Wait a minute. Where? I have two of these. One of them fell off just a just a little bit ago. I don't actually think. And there's three. Make sure there's no end play and make sure everything spins fantastic. In fact, it spins really, really good. So. All right, everybody, we are back. Oh, I don't like that. All right, everyone, we're back. Um, in that last clip, the keen observer will notice I forgot the fan on the back of the motor, so I had to take this all back out. Uh, and then it started raining, I had some other stuff I'd do. So uh, I got the gear in, got it oiled up. Now this plate can go on here, like so. Already right, run real quick. The one that I ended up missing was under the gear. Didn't even, totally forgot that it was there. Makes sense. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, the electric chainsaw is back together. I did sharpen the blade. This is my first time ever sharpening a blade. If I get it to focus on the blade. I don't know if you guys can see my sharpening job or not. I've never done it before. I used this thing here. 30 degree Oregon holder thingy and I just went into each angle and so we'll see if it works. I gotta fill it up with bar oil and we'll get out there and test it. We'll see how it sounds. It sounds about the same. It sounds a little bit more powerful. Uh, I don't believe this is oak. I cut through this. This is a pretty 
pretty hefty sized guy there. I don't believe that's oak. That might be. We'll cut through. go through uh, it cuts pretty what the heck oh yeah it's all wet everything's all gross and wet of course I cut right through a knot I mean I don't know it seems pretty Cuts pretty darn good for an electric chainsaw. I mean, I'd say it cuts pretty, pretty darn good. I guess I'll try it. Always keep this arm stiff, so if it bucks, it can't buck back at you. I don't, an electric chainsaw, I'm not sure if it could do that, but. Chain oiler is working. I don't know if it is. I put chain oil on this thing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes this video. Um, I don't. This will be getting released quite some time later because I haven't even released the other videos. So, uh, thing works good. Works, I'd say, marginally better. Um, the sharp chain definitely helped. The chain wasn't really that dull to begin with, but it definitely like it will cut through some stuff. Like it cuts pretty quick. So, uh, I'm super happy with it. Uh, I'll probably end up using it quite a bit. Really, really putting it through the ringer. <laughs> see, we'll see. We'll see how. Uh, much it can cut through so other than that hope you all enjoyed this video may the lord watch over you and bless you in all your ways in this crazy world um other than that my name is tyler and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out god bless cool beans cool bean beans this thing cuts through wood man wowie bowie cool this thing does uh this thing does some work for being an electric chainsaw. My good night. This thing's actually impressed me. Like, side note, it is not over yet. 
A real chainsaw to me is like a real chainsaw. Like, I grew up in semi-logger family, logger friends, stuff like that. This is not a legit, like, real, real chainsaw. Real, real chainsaws are huge. So, some someday, someday, I'd like to get me one of those. But for now, this works great. It's a good introduction, actually. Uh, electric chainsaws, if you're, like, afraid to start, this works great. So, peace out. God bless.